Back at it again. Yes, sir. We out here. All right, let's go. Let's go. This is a new uh, new Jordan there. Let's go. Let's get it. Mm-hmm. This your man, Ronnie Ron. We in the house, y'all. Prince Akeem. Here we go. And here's a quick topic for you guys. So since inflation is going up, gas is going up, you know, everything is, you know, it's going up. It looks like it's not going to stop. So this is the summertime, right? So usually, you know, around, you know, usually, you know, crime will go up and everything because, you know, people, they get hungry, you know, they, they don't have, they have, you know, no money, you know, you know, jobs. There's some jobs that people laying off and everything. And, you know, and I, I know here now, you know, Los Angeles, you know, we saw an uptick, uptick in crime with everything. What's everything's going around here, you know, especially in like the area I live in and in, in, in the downtown, like people go around in certain areas robbing people for their watches and jewelry and everything. And, you know, it's not just here. It's, you know, all across America, too, from Chicago, Detroit, um, New York, Miami, you know, Atlanta, Houston, Dallas, you know. And I think, you like I said, around this time, especially the summertime, when people like to travel and everything, people, and also people who love to travel and they go to different cities, I feel like, you know, with, you know, around people should, you know, really, really protect themselves and, and really, really look look out around your surroundings and really look at what you're wearing and everything. Because if if some people look at you, they they look at, first of all, they look at the clothes you wear. They look at what we, we wear, if you wear some type of watch, if you got something on your neck area, rings, glasses, people will start getting hungry. People will look at that and they will, you know, try to skip for you and rob you and everything. And it's and and and, 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 and if relation keep going up in the summertime, you might see home invasion as well. Because people might get more hungry. And I want to say this is like to people, you know, just really, really protect yourself, men, women, you know, make sure, you know, if you, if, like I said, if you have a license to have guns and everything, make sure you have, your, you know, your guns. Um, if you have um, um, uh, protection with your alarm system and everything, you know, if you need to get that for your household, make sure you, you know, you get that. Because I'm telling you, I'm telling y'all. It's going to be, especially around this summertime, it's going to be a lot of people watching people see what you're wearing and they will, or, you know, and they will, they, will, they will look at that and, and, and they will get you. And I think this is a topic that needs to be talked about because, like I said, especially with mass shooters as well, you know, it could get crazy like that as well, you know, and this is, to me, this is a very important to talk about, especially for the summertime with inflation and everything, and just make sure everybody, you know, watch, watch around and make sure you guys are safe. See, the thing is, what I, what I keep seeing around, I don't think um, y'all saw, but recently there was a situation that occurred in West Virginia where people were stealing gas. Mm -hmm. So when, when you see people start doing stuff like that, stealing gas, you never hear nothing about, like, people actually steal gas. People download an app. Through the app, they were able to hack into the gas system to put gas in people's gas tank. That's not showing how far people are now are being really creative with this crime rate. Because now they're not really trying to take from... Nobody tried to take from the poor, but now they're aiming for the rich. I don't know if I ever seen a movie called The Purge. Purge, when they say when the um when the, when the, when the election strikes, that's one of the titles of the Purge movie, and it showed that how people gonna end up taking action in their own hand to, to do what they got the means to survive. Especially right now, when inflation going up, you see like not a lot of especially especially our kind, black men are becoming more and more homeless. That's another topic we're gonna talk about in another day. So it just show you that. Stuff is that's going on in the world. You this time in inflation, like with Jordan said, which I totally agree. You got to protect yourself. You got to be more wise. You got to be more smart with your money and the things you're trying to do to protect yourself and your family. Because you guys can see, the government ain't doing a goddamn thing. So you got to keep that in mind. So that was my take on that. Fellas, do you remember a month ago there was a killing of a 17 year old kid in Miami? for breaking into this lady house. You remember that? I heard about that, yep. Let, let's talk about, her name was Gwendolyn. First, she had put, first, her house had been broken into several times. She didn't get a gun at first. She went and put cameras up. As she was home away, it alerted her somebody was in the house. She rushed back to her crime ridden neighborhood where she lived, one of her ladies in our community, found him in there and, and unalived him, cooked him like bacon. Inflation in the PP era has caused these dudes to be out here wilding. 
prior before this, crime wasn't as bad as this. You know, you had your couple bodies dropping and stuff like that. You was dealing with that. But now you even got to watch yourself at the pump now. People stealing gas. You could be at the pump, pumping, and somebody could be, while you in there, somebody's running in, running at the gas station, taking and filling up a tank and then running off with the thing or jumping into your whip. So we, we, we see the coalition of inflation and the lack of jobs. Now, mind you, our beloved Sloppy Joe said that he's made tons of jobs. Dishwashing is not a job. Janitorial work, it is a job. A lot of people, the, it, it, inflation, you need at least 80K. Our beloved sister who was on here, who told us that. Think of, uh, people, I just want you to think about that. I've seen crime got an uptick. I'm thinking about putting cameras up, putting cameras up and in, in doing all those things up because you never know who's watching. You know what I mean? And, and, and listen, I'm this is for a lot of y'all. This is for a lot of y'all who's who's who, who's not who who doesn't understand. Return the Gucci belts. Return the Gucci belts. I'm I'm just being real with you. They're watching you. When you went on vacation, you came back. They see you slide in that brand new big screen TV. Live below your means. Live below your means. That's all I got to tell you. And people keep forgetting because people are like, oh, no, I call law enforcement. Right now, law enforcement is all complaining about the gas prices because, remember, they get a, they get a certain budget within the year to help, this, to help them deal with the gas bills and stuff like that. But now when the gas prices is up, it's hurting them as well. So it's going to take a long time before the costs come. Also mm -hmm. keep that in mind. Well. Not only that, the crimes are even being more brazen. I can go down the list of crimes that have been happening the last week or so, just four days. And it's not only affecting our beloved, our beloved whites, our beloved blacks and Hispanics. It's mm -hmm. affecting Americans, period. And the thing about it is, how can you protect yourself in inflation from crime? Don't keep, don't keep excessive amount of money at your house. Don't let nobody know you got an excessive amount of money. Safety deposit boxes. Take your birth certificate, anything that's important. Take those things out your house, put it in the safety deposit box. I'm just, you're talking to, you're talking to an ex, you're talking to somebody who used to break in houses. I'm just letting you know, don't keep them type of things there, rings, diamonds, family heirlooms. You, you move those things out your house, put it in a safety deposit box at a bank or something. You know what I mean? Passports, all these things, especially with crimes and things. Don't flash money when you jump out your car. Matter of fact, I don't even, a matter of fact, you stupid for even dealing with cash in the inflation era. As much as the stick up kids is out, where you at? Go on TikTok. You see somebody getting robbed every day. Matter of fact, the loss, crime done got so bad, the loss prevention guys are putting up their videos of how dudes are, are, are stealing um, tools every day. Wow. Both, so y'all tell me what's cracking. And the thing is, you know, 4th of July is coming up. Woo! That's, to me, that's that's a banger right there. That's, like I said, that could tell us everything how crime's going to be. It's, it's going to be terrible. It's going to be bad. And all that type of stuff. And like I said, people, you have to be be safe and be careful. Yeah. Look at your surroundings. Yeah. You know, make sure, you know, if you come in here in LA or, you know, make sure you say a certain section. Oh my go God. Miami, you go to Miami, say a certain section. And every time I think about 4th of July, I think about Chicago. You just said something real pivotal. You mentioned key cities where women are setting men up, niggas is knowing your locations. Mm -hmm. Chicago, Miami, New York, um, um, Philadelphia. Yes. You know, like, we live in these places. So we know crime is up. We know how to move around here. And even us, we still need to get trained on certain things. Be aware. Facts. Mm -hmm. Facts. And just show you that, hey, 
Next time when Alexa comes around, you gotta be smart who you vote for. KI Culture Radio, we out. Yeah, peace. Peace.